Hi, uh, I'm going to show you how to use the Easy Onboard Diagnostic 2, version 2, 3.0. It's the new one you can download off the internet, it's a free version. I'll show you my laptop, how you can work. So, that is the version, I can't see it very clearly on me. On my uh, camera, so I've just chose it and spring it up there. This is the first screen you'll get. It's connected to a an ELM327. Um, onto the cars. Onboard diagnostic port, as you can see. There. You see the box old Cavalier, that's an early one, 2000. It's come on with some few faults, so what I'll do is when you first load the information up, if you go on to which well, is a system reset. What it does, it checks the communication port. Sorry for the picture again. So it checks to make sure that all the ports are connected. Then it checks the interface hardware, which is your OBD scanner. It checks the vehicle system can comply with it, which it you should be able to. Make sure the ignition's on, by the way, any vehicle. Yeah, everything's go. And then there it says check engine, lamp status, test. So what I'll do now. Make sure the car's out of gear. I'll start her up. The car's running now. And then what I'll do is I'll go to um, show results. And it's come up automatically that uh, my crankshaft, crankshaft sensor and the throttle pedal sensor is faulty. So what I can go is go back back onto the screen and there it says reset trouble codes so you can go straight onto that click onto that do I really want to? that's all it asks you, yeah of course I do and then it'll go through checking them Full, fold it's come up with one reset and I can't so it's telling me I have to put a new crankshaft centre but what I'll also show you um, on this it's quite a good easy software is the live data on the dashboard. So it's just checking all through the system again. Make sure the hardware, the ports are okay. Make sure they're all connected. And don't forget your ignition has to be on to apply power for the interface, uh, which you can buy off eBay. So it's going through it again. It's telling me there's one fault on it. We know that. I'll just show you the live dashboard. Just quite, there you go. There's the RPM, batch of volts, temperature, and obviously I'm stood still where the throttle position is and the amount of load on the engine. I'm just giving it a rev. So it's quite uh, quite true to live data. You can go to US dashboard if you're in the States. It goes to uh, kilometres instead of miles per hour. Uh, and that's about it really. So you can, you can show all the basic di diagnostic trouble codes, reset them, there's free uh, freeze frame data, so it sure comes up there. There's load data, fault finding codes, data logger, so it can log what you've done. Uh, it's quite easy to use, so I thought I'd been some help to you. And that's the easy OBD2 version 3, uh, which is you can download now free. Thank you, bye.